Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Shantae Marie here, and I am a lifestyle vlogger here on YouTube. I strive to make content that can help you guys out in some way, shape, or form. And if you guys are new, make sure you hit the subscribe button and do not forget to give this video a thumbs up because it really helps the YouTube algorithm to be able to recommend my channel to other people. So, Today's video is a little bit exciting. I just finished recording what's in my hospital bag for you guys, which I don't feel like mine was very exciting and I, I feel like I also forgot a few things that I'm gonna be bringing because I haven't decided yet what I'm going to bring and I'm due like any time now. I'm seriously like, I'm we about to pop over here. So we're about to show you um, what is going in baby girls bag i'm holding some of the stuff right now because i just didn't want to put it down yet i'm just going to show you guys what i am taking i am taking these two little pairs of baby socks these are like um made they're really soft I've, i don't know what this fabric is like maybe terry cloth probably but um they're the ones that are like higher on the calf it would get kicked off easier and I'm really not trying to lose these at the hospital I have a really bad hoarding problem with all of the stuff that I've gotten for my baby I don't know how I'm ever going to get rid of it uh, um, and I'm honestly scared for when that day comes like when she doesn't fit stuff and I need to sell things or get rid of it I have a feeling I'll be like oh no I need to keep it for sentimental value and I'm not, that's not me as a person, but for some reason with her stuff, that's how I am. So I'm taking these two pairs of socks. I am taking this little white onesie for her. It has little heart details on it, which I don't know if those will pick up on the camera, but this is newborn size. I got this in a pack of like five from Carter's. They come with cute little pink, pink colors, and I just really liked it. I thought it was very basic and cute and I feel like the white onesie will match with anything if I need to mix and match clothes. Oh, and I do want to point out that I'm taking this amount of clothes because one, this is my first child. I'm having a little girl. My family has not had a newborn child. We haven't had a baby in our family in 25 years. So this is like a big deal. I'm taking all the pictures, guys. Like. So I am literally going to take as many outfits as I want to. And a, these are outfits that I want to see my baby wear. Like I would be mad at myself if she didn't, if she didn't wear these before she grows out of the sizes. So this is also newborn from Carter's. These little pink sweatpants, they're terry cloth material too. And on the back, I think this is supposed to be a little bunny, um, but it looks like I thought it was a bear, but I think it's supposed to be a bunny. Um, and the reason why I say that is because there's a matching hood and it has little ears, ears on it. And then the little onesie that's underneath of it has like bunny rabbits and clouds and it's just really cute. I feel like it stinks because you're supposed to wash all the baby's clothing before they wear them. And I washed that and the texture and the softness of that terry cloth material totally changed. And I'm like, this must have been like really cheaply made. I don't know, but it's not, it's definitely not as soft as when I first got it, but it's okay. So this next outfit is actually, this is her going home outfit. Um, this was bought on Etsy. It's just very, very cute and very, very springy. And it has a little matching little head thingy, a little bow. Um, but I wanted that for her going at home outfit. It's a onesie and it zips. So that's like super convenient. Those down to go with basically every outfit. As far as pictures go, I wanted options. So I'm taking this little headband that has little pearl details on it. I'm not sure if that's picking up on the camera, but then this one has, my dog is going crazy. This one has little floral details on it, and I figured that those could match with legit anything. Um, but this, I have this little headband that also matches anything, but I'm taking it to match with this diaper. This is a diaper cover, so it's like little underwear. <laughs> And then it has frillies on the butt and a bow. The bow needs to be retied. But that's for, just for um, picture purposes. Uh, and I just think it's so precious. Her grandma bought that for her. So 
It has other pieces that go with it, but she won't be big enough to wear the other pieces. So I'm taking these for just blankets for her to have, but I'm also taking them for photos. So the I did a tour of the hospital and the little bed that she's going to be in, I just don't want I just don't want a plain bed under the pictures that we take. Um, or I know they have a photographer come in, but I, I obviously am, I have a nice camera, so we're going to take our own too. Um, and I just wanted options for like the background on the little bed. So I'm doing this pink striped and then this little floral detail situation. And I feel like both of these really match the outfits that I'm taking. So I'm just trying to be super matchy with it because I just think that that's so precious. I'm also taking this pink swaddle me sack because your girl is probably not going to be good at swaddling because I just haven't practiced and I don't think that I'm going to be very good at it. Um, but I did bring one blanket for swaddling that I feel like the pattern really matches everything that I'm bringing. And I feel like these clothes match some of the clothes that I'm taking. Because I was going to do the whole like match your robe to your baby situation, but those are really expensive. Like the posh peanut ones, they were just expensive. I wasn't feeling, I didn't want to pay that much for just for that. So um, I figured I'd just use what I already have that is similar in color and it'll it'll be okay. So the next items that I'm going to show you guys are actually items that aren't clothing, which these are the things that I... I don't know. I like seeing them on these videos. So I'm taking both of these little six packs of Pampers wipes because um, if I don't use them, I'm going to leave them in the car. But I've also heard sometimes that the hospital doesn't give you wipes that actually have um, moisture on them. Like you have to wet them. They're reusable or something. I don't know what that is. Um, and I didn't think to ask my hospital. So I'm taking these just in case. The next thing is, um, I did the first five years baby book from this company, Write With Me or Write To Me. Some, it's something like that. Um, this book is a baby book for the first five years. And there's a whole, there's a bug in here. Um, there's a whole section in here about, it's like says at the top, it says my birth. And um, there's a spot for anyway. There's there, anyways. There's a spot in here for people who come to the hospital to sign the book. So I'm taking this with me, which that just made me think of something else that I want to order. I want to order something so that I can have copies of her little footprints and stuff. Um, so I need to do that like immediately. Um, what else? I'm not gonna sh not gonna show you the bag yet. I am taking this Hello, I'm New Here sign. I got mine at um, Hobby Lobby um, and it was half off and it's only $4. So I am taking that, these two pins from my baby shower to write on it and then this black, nice black gel pin um, is what I'll use for the baby book for people to sign when they come to visit. So my hospital actually doesn't provide binkies anymore because they're a high five hospital and whatever, the whole breastfeeding situation. Um, my baby is not being breastfed, so um, I am taking my own binkies. I took two of the Advent ones and one of the ma'am, mom, I don't know what it's called, ma'am binkies, I don't know. Um, but these have already been like disinfected and the closer that I get like if I realize that some stuff's going down I'll probably do it one more time before I leave but I wanted to make sure that I had binkies for her and the last thing to show you guys is the bag that I'm taking this is going to be my daughter's um diaper bag well my diaper bag for her um I feel like this bag is really really popular um it's like the top rated one on Amazon I'm pretty for sure but one of my friends actually Actually purchased this for me and I really like it because there's actually a spot in it that you can put like a tablet and stuff I feel like I'm gonna forever get use out of this not just for like oh hey I'm a new mom like I can use this for years to come even af after that and it really doesn't give off the vibe of a diaper bag like I don't know I can do a whole review on this bag if you guys really want to see that um, but this is the bag that I'm gonna use for her stuff and probably the bag that my um, iPad 
is going to go into for the hospital. So. That is everything. Oh, I'm also taking, I'm out of breath. I'm also taking her newborn lounger. Um, it's a boppy pillow. I talked about it in my previous video, um, but I'm taking that just to clear space in the room because it's so small. It's so claustrophobic to me. I just don't like it regardless of if there's anybody visiting or not. I just feel like it's the world's smallest room and um, I just want her to be in my bed. So yeah, I, I that's what we're doing. Um, I figure if people come to visit, um, I can like set her in the lounger if I need to or whatever. So um, I am going to be taking that for her as well. So that is the end of this video. If you guys like have any recommendations as far as like getting awesome pictures um, of your child in the hospital, let me know because I'm really trying to think and plan ahead of how this is going to work because unless I have her in the middle of the day, there's like no natural lighting in there and I just don't know how it's going to work. So, um, yeah, I know that's probably like the, you guys are probably like, girl, that's your last concern, but I think about stuff like that. So if you guys have not already hit the subscribe button, don't forget to thumbs up this video and I will catch you guys in my next one. Bye guys.